continue with our breaking news. Los Angeles and Miami, on both coasts, federal agents swarm the homes of one of the biggest names in rap and entertainment. As you can see, SWAT teams showed up at mansions belonging to Sean Diddy Combs. P. Diddy uh, is, well, is what he goes by. They were raided by the Department of Homeland Security Investigations Group. Combs has faced lawsuits uh, on a number of issues. Uh, but according to court documents, he's been accused of rape, sex trafficking, and more. He has denied all the charges. Law enforcement sources confirm the raids are connected to investigations over sex trafficking. You can see what appears to be Diddy's two sons in handcuffs uh, in the yards. This is from uh, Los Angeles, from one of our helicopters there. That's Justin and King Combs. News Nation national security contributor, former Los Angeles FBI agent Tracy Walders here. First, News Nation entertainment reporter Sam Rubin. Uh, with what we know uh, right now. Uh, Sam, a uh, scale of 1 to 10 in Los Angeles of the surprise meter, where does this rank? Oh, I think this is a nine plus. I think it's an extraordinary supply surprise. This is one of the most elite neighborhoods in all of Los Angeles, the Holmby Hills area, a street called Mapleton. Uh, and as you saw from that aerial footage, this is an extraordinary mansion. I am not a real estate expert, but this is a $50 million home and then some. So we always knew that uh, P. Diddy did well. I don't think people were necessarily aware that he did this well, nor were aware to the extent of the trouble that he must clearly be in. Uh, you're seeing this extraordinary, extraordinary wow. estate where neighbors are now telling the media, yes, this was the site of uh, parties, likely uh, debauched affairs. And, and that's what this all stems from. He, one lawsuit, there are five against P. Diddy as we're speaking right now. Again, he mm -hmm. has denied these accusations. But one from a woman who recorded under the name of Cassie, Cassandra Ventura, was extraordinarily detailed and damning in her accusations of a 10-year relationship uh, where she described effectively being terrorized in a variety of ways. And that may just be the tip of uh, the uh, debauched behavior iceberg. Uh, it, it seems pretty extraordinary to me that HSI would come in effect with military equipment and to simultaneously raid this extraordinary estate here in Los Angeles and another one in Miami that they apparently approached with both boats and vehicles. I mean, it looks like a scene out of a movie, except uh, P. Diddy cast very uh, probably reluctantly as the bad guy in what certainly, at the very least, is extraordinarily damaging to his reputation. Uh, yeah, that would probably be uh, the understatement. Sam, thank you very much. Tracy Walder with us now. Uh, Tracy, I, I think what struck everybody was the fact that the agents who were raiding these homes were wearing the HSI uh, tags on the back of their bulletproof vest that the SWAT team was there. How high up uh, does it have to go? How far along in the investigation does it have to be uh, to send SWAT teams to the home of a major celebrity on both coasts? The short answer to that, Leland, is, is, is pretty high, although I'm not surprised that it was HSI who was there. Their prominent role is really to investigate transnational issues particularly sex crimes and sex trafficking crimes. So it's not surprising at all that this raid was conducted by them. And it's not surprising at all also that this was simultaneous. Typically, if you have someone that has multiple residences, we even did this at the FBI, you have different teams stationed at different properties to go after them and raid them at the exact same time. So that way, evidence mm -hmm. can be preserved. So I really think by this point, and again, he is innocent until proven guilty, but there is a mountain, probably, of evidence against him. Yeah, this is the end rather than the beginning of the investigation, I guess, as things would go. Um, Sean Diddy, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, Diddy, uh, net worth over a billion dollars, Bad Boy Records, um, 500 million records sold, 38 uh, platinum records as well. Um, I guess, you know, there's that old line, you know, things you never get caught on your first time, drunk, drunk driving, cheating on your wife, um, and the like. The one person we haven't heard about or where he is is P. Diddy himself. So how do they, how do they time these kinds of raids? Is it they want whoever the target is not to be at any of the homes and they are have surveillance on him? What what what's that play look like? So that's a really good question, actually, Leland. Um, my guess is they may actually have him in custody, and we just may not see pictures of that because that was done quietly, or. He could be out of the country. It's hard to know. I don't know the various properties that he has, yeah. as you mentioned. He's worth a billion dollars, so he may not physically be here. 
However, I think that they decided to conduct the raid, whether they got him or not, because I think there were probably lives at risk and trafficking that was going on, and it needed to stop because people were in imminent danger. Wow. That's why I think it doesn't necessarily matter. It will matter, obviously, in the end that he's caught, but I don't know that it matters right now, and I think that's probably why they decided to do it, sadly. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.